Hey, Mark here with another R&D Corner. Today we're going to talk about cooling, or the lack thereof, depending on what you're running. You know, we're all building these cars and trucks to drive them, and have fun driving them. So if you've got to plan your trips around intersections, traffic lights, stuff like that, it's no fun. If you're running a 220, that's not good either. You know, if you're still running an OE copper brass unit, and you run any kind of power adders, maybe aftermarket fuel injection, turbo blowers, you're going to run into these cooling issues real quick. We got a solution here for you. So stay tuned, let's talk about it. And this is our solution. This is the new Max Power Tri-Flow Radiator. <clears throat> what you got here is aluminum, universal, Chevy style units. We got three different sizes to fit street rods all the way up to full size pickups. You got here, it's all 6061 aluminum, full TIG welded, tanks to core. We got universal mount tabs here on the side. You got your stainless steel bung for your drain. We also have another one right up here for guys running LS's. You can now run your steam port right into that line here. We got the shroud fans, um, tranny coils, accessories there that we'll talk about in a little bit. But let me show you the detail of how these things work. We've got a cutaway here. <clears throat> it's the same unit, only smaller. So what we did was we incorporated these flow dividers. You have one here and then one in the other tank. What these do, these create water movement in three different passes. So water comes in here, hits your first flow divider, comes across, down into your tank to the second flow divider, across again, down in here. Essentially three passes in front of the fan. The conventional radiator like you have right now, a cross flow, is going to be from one tank to the other, one pass in front of the fan. We got three. So what we did, we took equivalent units, the Max Power Tri-Flow unit and an equivalent aftermarket aluminum radiator. We sent them out to an independent test lab in, uh, outside Detroit. They tested these on an LS motor on a test stand. What they recorded was a 22.4 degree difference between inlet temperature and outlet in the Tri-Flow and only about 10 or 11 in your standard. So what we wanted to do here at Eastwood is we wanted to validate the test results for ourselves. So we took a 68 Camaro with a small block in it. We ran it against the OE copper brass. We took a top of the line competitor's aluminum radiator and our tri-flow. You're gonna be impressed with the results. We installed each radiator in the 68 Camaro and then put a thermocouple into the inlet and outlet of each radiator so we could measure temperature coming in and going out. The engine was then run until the temperature hit 200 degrees Fahrenheit at which point the fan was turned on. The three tests are in the combined graphic. The tri-flow radiator is at the top, the OE copper brass is in the bottom left, and the standard aftermarket aluminum radiator is in the bottom right. Just look at the way the tri-flow radiator cools. After only 17 seconds, the temperature in the tri-flow has dropped 20 degrees, all the way down to 179, while the other radiators are still hanging out in the mid-190s. That's 24 degrees hotter than the tri-flow. Now let's fast forward to one minute. The tri-flow is down to 174 degrees, while the others are still over 187. After two minutes, the tri-flow is all the way down to 167, while the others are still struggling at 180. The tri-flow dropped more in 17 seconds than the others did in two minutes. So as you just seen from that video there, our testing validated the results from the independent lab. Now we got a line of accessories with these. We got nice aluminum shrouds. Nice thing with these shrouds, it's a no fastener look. They actually hook one to the uh, top and bottom of the unit. We got high quality Durali fans. We got tranny cores and uh, fan controllers to go with it. All you need to do is measure the height and width of your radiator, or if you haven't installed it yet, visit eastwood.com for the instructions you need. So you got a cool car, you wanna drive this thing. No time better to replace the unit than right now. We got a great offer. So order a unit today, take us up on our 60-day money-back guarantee. You're going to get the best value, best performing unit. And best of all, you're going to be able to drive your car with confidence again, not worrying about heat, traffic, or anything like that. So click the button below to visit eastwood.com, order your unit today, plus get our 60-day money-back guarantee and the confidence you need to drive your car.